Yo, it's Elliot with Yo Elliot. You've got shrimp questions, and I've always got your answers. Yo, Elliot. All right, well, today we've got a couple questions about grip strength. They're text questions, namely wondering how to eliminate the grip weakness as a limiting factor in pulling exercises like the deadlift. Now, before I get started with how to improve your grip strength, two quick, very interesting things. One, I recently read a Gallup study that was published in the New York Times, and I'll link it up if I can find it, where they described people ha who have stronger grips or hand strength as healthier and living longer. And they associated all types of reasons why stronger hands lead to longevity and good health. So if you got old people that you care about, tell them to start deadlifting or doing dead hangs. Maybe they'll live longer. The other cool thing is that by increasing your grip strength, you're triggering something that's called irritation. Essentially, where when you grip your hand tight, you can't, your nervous system can't help but to start activating all the muscles that are associated with closing your hand tight. You know, this is one of our most superficial functions that, that happens way outside the center of our body. When I say superficial, I mean out here. This is uh, proximal, distal, superficial, internal. Probably not the right word, probably more like central. But anyway, so by having stronger hands, you will ultimately be able to do, you'll be stronger in your chest, in your shoulders, in your back. If you've ever watched some of the bench press deadlifts, uh, uh, videos by Dave Tate, I think there's some of them on his YouTube channel. He talks about improving your bench press by squeezing the bar tighter. That's irritation at its finest. So by increasing your grip strength, you're not only going to be able to hold things with your hands better, per se, but you'll also be able to have produce better function in your back, in your chest, in your shoulders, everything as it makes its way to the center of your body. So, you, long story short, you want to have a pretty strong grip for multiple reasons besides heavy freaking deadlifts. Now, a couple tips for you for increasing your deadlift strength and um, just to answer one of the specific questions in your, your questions that you guys asked. Um, I would say somebody wanted to know if they should use straps. Straps are cool, they're good, but don't become reliant on them. I've used them before in order to build up my deadlift strength, but I'm sure to only use it if it's you know as, as a tool or an accessory to regular deadlifting which is with, uh, with, with without straps. Now the very first exercise that I would add to your regimen in order to improve your grip strength would be to do uh, dead holds. So basically you would get a barbell, you load it up with weight that you could probably do about 10 to 12 repetitions on for like a deadlift or a bent over row. Hold it with supinated grip. That means your hands up. Supinated, you remember that by saying like you could hold a bowl of soup in your hands. Pronated, supinated. Supinated grip. Grab the bar, drop your shoulders back, and just hold the bar watching a clock and, and, and basically beat your time from week to week. The reason why I ask you to do it in supinated because you might as well kill two birds with one stone. When you supinate in that hold, you also build up the strength of your upper back, which is going to be critical for your deadlift strength and being a strong son of a bitch as well. Supinated dead hold. Every week, try to beat your time. You're going to hold it for a minute, then hold it for two minutes. Now, the way you, another thing that I would do, and I'd probably get on this as soon as possible, is to do that with, two, with a two inch bar axle or with fat grips. And fat grips are basically these little tubular type things that you can add to your bar so that you have a, a, a fatter bar to hold on to. That's really going to force you to work a lot harder. You, I think you can go to fatgrips.com to find these things. You just put them on your bar and you hold on as long as you can with that, uh, that two inch hold. That's going to be really helpful for you. Then, and, and add that at the end of your workout. Don't do that and then go try to deadlift. Then, uh, also add a couple accessory strength, uh, grip strength exercises to your program, including wrist rollers. I've got the Iron Mind wrist roller here. I like that. Uh, dumbbell hex holds. If I, had, I don't have a dumbbell here, but essentially, hang on, I'll get one.
So you, your hex holds look like this. You hold the dumbbell like that. Bang, hopefully you guys can see that. And you do it for time. Bang, it's really gonna build your finger strength. The other thing is, grab plates. I'll be right back. You take 10, ten pound plates like this and just hold on to it. Bang, as long as you can. Those are two cool exercises that don't take special equipment. And then finally, another really cool one is just dead hangs. Grab a chin up bar and hang as long as you can. Like you do with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, the deadlift holds. You time yourself this week, beat it next week. That's it, add those to your program. Keep increasing your grip strength, men. They're the keepers of the house. You've gotta have strong hands to be a strong man. Thanks for your video questions. Oh, send me more video questions. Thanks for your questions. I'm Elliot Hulse, talk to you next time. Yo, Elliot.